All right, y'all, we got another owner operator, small fleet owner, a uh, fleet of Ford trucks, right? It's a buddy of mine, old military buddy of mine, right? Uh, retired guy, right? So he has four units. He's currently selling two of the four, two of the four, two freight liners that he owns, two of the four freight liners he has, uh, he has for sale, right? He's going to keep two. He's thinking about keeping two because he do have the drivers for the two, right? And the notes I said drivers, that's the reason why he's going out of business is because of drivers. That's his thing. It's not, um, the, the freight is not paying anything and the fuel is high because we know that's true, but that's not what's putting him out of business, right? That's not why he's considering going out of business. It's strictly because he can't keep drivers in all four of his trucks, right? Now, pre before 19, right, before this virus hit, he was having driver issues then. Everybody's having driver issues, right? It's been going on for years. But he still ran pretty good, right? Through the pandemic, trucking was great, right? For me anyway, right? He did pretty well. But since then, right, he cannot get these drivers to stay in the truck. And I know a lot of people always say, well, you ain't paying them this and that. That's not the issue. These guys are getting paid well. I'm talking to him. I'm not going to put his numbers out. It's nobody's business. Plus, that won't help you anyway, right? These guys make a nice percentage of every load they make, right? So it's not about paying them because these guys are making money. The issue is once they go out and make what they need for that week, a month, whatever it is, you can't get these guys to show up, right? So we all know that's fact, right? A lot of people don't want to give credence to... Um, these guys just don't want to work, right? They don't They want to believe that. They don't want to say that. They want to say you're not paying them. But it's people out here that don't want to work in all industries, right? You got this. And, and, and I don't know what it's attributed to, but it's hard to keep these guys. So do not be the new guy that comes out here without a plan, right? If you're coming out here as an owner-operator, know how to talk, know how to be professional, know how to do business, know how to make contacts, right? And you're going to have to know how to do that quickly, right? Hopefully you're coming out with somebody that's already got contacts, right? There's somebody that can just put you on and plug you into what's going on. That's as an op on operator to keep you running, right? Especially during this hard time right now. If you're coming in as a driver, you may be okay because I'm pretty sure you'll be coming into a company that's working, right? But if you're thinking about on operator, you need to have a game plan. You need to know how bad it is. You need to come out here with some type of, uh, um, backup, right? That's having somebody that can walk you through it and plug you into a couple of things. That's in today's environment, right? That's today's environment. But do not come out here buying two and three trucks, right? I know guys that bought two and three trucks four or five years ago that went out of business. I know somebody that did that recently, right? Today's time and going out of business, right? And that's not this guy that I'm talking about, right? I know people that's doing that. So don't come out here thinking, uh, one truck, you're going to make all this money and all this other stuff. You come out here chasing money and trucking, you come out here, you play chasing, don't know what you're doing, you're going to lose, right? So anyway, peace, y'all.